Time now for the morning rush. Overnight, APD SWAT surrounded a home in northeast Albuquerque. Details are still limited, but we do know that a suspect is in custody and officers were called out to the area of Manal and Shellwood Park. That was around 10 last night. Police say that a person with an active warrant refused to leave the home and had barricaded themselves inside. And that is the latest from APD. Albuquerque police is still looking for answers this morning after a deadly shooting outside of a Blake's Laudaburger. The shooting happened last Thursday at the restaurant near Central and Moon. APD now says that a dark colored car was doing donuts in the parking lot when someone inside that car fired two shots. Officers say an innocent person was hit and killed. During a routine hearing, actor Alec Baldwin's attorney made the claim that the state destroyed the gun used in the deadly shooting on a film set in October 2021. The district attorney's office clarified that the gun was only damaged. Now the gun itself remains in evidence and is available for the defense to review. The FBI report states that the gun would not have fired unless unless someone pulled the trigger. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It's a chilly start, so you'll want to wear the warmer layers this morning, but you'll be shedding those. Make sure you get the jackets back this afternoon. It is going to be a bit breezy with wind gusts to 25 miles per hour. Las Cruces Public Schools announced yesterday that the current superintendent, Ralph Ramos, will retire with his last day set for April 7th. Ramos took over the role after the death of Dr. Karen Trujillo in 2021. The district is now looking for a new superintendent. The Albuquerque Department of Solid Waste spent almost $900,000 last year cleaning up homeless camps beneath overpasses, freeway on and off ramps, and next to highways. Both the city and state have spent more than $6.5 million in the last eight fiscal years cleaning up those homeless encampments along the freeway. A bill to increase the amount of paid family leave workers in New Mexico receive passed in the Senate. The fund would cover 12 weeks of leave to care for sick family members, as well as bonding with newborn or recently adopted children. Beginning in 2025, employees would contribute half a percent of their wages to it. Employers would match 80 percent of that. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is moderate today because we will be seeing some high wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour around the mountains, and that does include the Sandias. A shooting at a Jehovah's Witness Hall in Hamburg, Germany, has reportedly killed at least six people yesterday. A police spokesman says that the officers stormed the building, finding victims on the ground floor. Well, they also found someone fatally shot who they believe may have been the shooter themselves. Now, investigators have not identified a motive. The CEO of Norfolk Southern apologized to the residents of East Palestine, Ohio, and surrounding communities affected by the recent train derailment. Yesterday, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro quickly dismissed Shaw's apology, telling Shaw that Pennsylvanians must be fully compensated for their losses. At least 11 people are dead after Russia unleashed a wave of more than 80 missiles across the Ukraine. The barrage of strikes targeted 10 regions and included the use of at least six of the Kremlin's hypersonic Kinzhal missiles. Ukrainians are in mourning, knowing there's a chance, a high chance, that more strikes could come. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. The maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. And here's a look at Tracker heading southbound on I-25 near MLK Drive. Everything's still moving at speed. New Mexico United players, they join students at Our Lady of Assumption Catholic School for this month's Read Across America program. After they finished the book, the students were able to ask the players questions. One teacher we spoke to said it was important for the kids to see people in their lives reading and learning. Time now for the five facts. At number five, New Mexico United players join students at Our Lady of Assumption Catholic School for this month's Read Across America program. After they finished the book, the students were able to ask the players questions. One teacher we spoke to said it was important for kids to see people in their lives reading and learning. V Hill says they've had great community support as they teach kids to read. At number four, a stretch of Central from downtown to Old Town has undergone a major makeover. Now one of the last blighted properties could be getting some new life. That property is near 16th and Central and West downtown and it recently had two vacant homes on it. Now it's an empty lot and at least that's until the four story Pearl condos move in. That's with 34 units and a retail space on the ground level. That project is expected to cost around $8 million. And at number three, it's going to be a warmer and breezy day. We'll see temperatures climbing back into the low 70s in Albuquerque and upper 60s in Santa Fe. We'll even hit some upper 70s in southern New Mexico. And number two, developers are finalizing plans to bring before the UNM Board of Regents over what they intend to do with a recently demolished university building. Uh, that location is at the corner of University and Central. It was once home to UNM's parking and transportation services. The executive director of Global Development Corporation says right now they are in the very beginning stages of that development, figuring out what the site can support. Well, this is some, the University Development Corporation said that they do not know why the previous plans have fallen through. 
but they expect those plans to come together in the next three to five years. Number one, we're learning more this morning about a new inspector general report that shows Albuquerque is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars each year cleaning up homeless camps. The Department of Solid Waste spent almost $900,000 last year cleaning beneath overpasses, freeway on and off ramps, and next to the highways. The city has an, ag an agreement with the DOT for the cleanups. They have reimbursed the city for half a million dollars last year. The city and state have spent more than $6.5 million in the last eight fiscal years.